James Holder for Eiffel London. I'm at Wembley Arena today for the uh, Royal Britannia show, fighting on the bill. I've got undefeated prospect Frank Bulliani. All right, Frank? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks, James. Right, so congratulations on your eighth pro win. Oh, thank you. Yep. Uh, Darren McKenna, quite quite a tricky opponent. Could you tell me how the fight went? Yeah, v very tough. Um, very tough fella. He's um, he's had ten fights only. I think he's only been stopped once, and um, he. he he gets hurt and he, that's when he's most dangerous and he comes forward and he swings and he has a go. So it was, it was a very good learning fight. Um, first eight rounder, so I was ready to go the eight rounds. But um, fortunately, caught him in the third. Um, caught him with a nice right hand, left hook, I believe. And um, he, he didn't make the count. Was it, was it a, a body shot that put him down? Uh, no, I caught him with a couple of good body shots in the second. And um, I felt like, he, like his energy and that dropped. Um, and then it was a head shot that he walked onto in the third that um, stopped him. Uh, I know being a prospect, you're looking to build up the rounds, but surely you've got to be satisfied with knocking them out early, Frank, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Uh, if you can get them out of there quicker, then it eliminates the uh, scorecard. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's a blessing. And obviously, less rounds, um, less chance of injury and getting caught yourself. So um, obviously, a, a stoppage is better, and it's better for the fans. But um, no, I was ready to go eight rounds, and or the box to move, and, and won, the, uh, won the final points if need be. Paul Butler was chief support tonight. I, I'd go as far as to say you had as much support here as Paul Butler did. I know he's from Liverpool and they've travelled down, but yeah. it must be a good thing for as a prospect to have that many people buying tickets, Frank. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, I, I'm overwhelmed by the, uh, the support again, and it's how, like they're so vocal and have a like really sing and cheer. It like brings something out of me, and it's it's great to have them behind me. I'm just really thankful. I know I've asked you before about this, but how are you managing to get so much hype and so much support, Frank? Like of these, the many people knowing about you and and your journey and stuff. Well, if you want to turn the camera over to uh, William with a beard there, he's, uh, he's doing a great job for me. So. I didn't know you had Jesus as your PA. <laughs> You've had it often, yeah? We, we pray a lot and uh, good things are happening. So, um, no, I've got, I've got William uh, to thank for a lot of that. And um, obviously the, the, the fans are fantastic and they're, they're loyal. They'll keep coming back and um, they're bringing more people with them. So, I, again, I just want to say thank you to all them again. You're in a great place at the minute. Obviously, Jimmy Tibbs, Mark Tibbs working with you every day, day in, day out. Do you feel like you're learning more every day, progressing? Yeah, without a doubt. Obviously, they're the best in the business and um, learning every day with them. And um, I'll, I'll learn a hell of a lot from this fight as well. Yeah. I'll sit down with Mark, maybe watch it over a couple of times and then um, go back in the gym and practice a few things. Yeah, I know it's, uh, this is your eighth fight tonight, but I personally would like to see you a little bit now stepping up in a class of opposition. No no disrespect to Darren when it comes to fight tonight. Just just as a fan's point of view, I think, think you're looking yeah. looking looking ready a little bit now, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, thanks, thanks um, James. Um, Darren is a, he's a tough boy and he, he comes and has a fight. And that's that's the difference between Darren. He's not really a journeyman. He, he's good enough to be a prospect and he, he comes forward and, he, and like I say, he's strong, he's tough, he's durable. I've seen him fight a couple of times. He, he's exactly that. Yeah, and he, he has a go and he's um, he gives some good boys tough fights. So um, that was a great opponent. But um, yeah, I'll be looking to step up challenges now and um, another eight rounder and go from there. Well, Frank, listen, I want to thank you for giving Arthur London a bit of your time and keep doing what you're doing and hopefully we get a chance to see you out again soon. No problems. Thanks very much, James. <laughs>